Mexicans fought in Iraq. 57 died. Tonight, News 13's Nancy Laughlin talked to one who nearly died. Nancy? Dick, this was a very complicated war, and there's sharp disagreement about whether it was worth fighting. An Albuquerque Academy graduate says, regardless of your opinion, don't blame the war on the warrior. If you ask Army Sergeant and veteran Andres Lazo if the war in Iraq was worth it. The people that I serve with and my service itself being in Iraq, it was more about doing our job. We, were always, we always wanted to do the best job possible and with the hope of coming back home and seeing our families again. And Lazo says he was one of the lucky ones because he made it home, unlike so many of his friends who served in Iraq. Four years ago, the Albuquerque native came very close to dying. I actually was hit um, directly on the right side of my head by a roadside bomb. He has a head injury, pieces of metal from parts of the bomb that landed in both his arms, a purple heart, and a big desire to help the men and women who are now coming home. It's not something that's as simple as taking a plane ride home. It really takes active um, work, not only by the veteran, but by the basis support that they have. Lazo says those veterans will have a very long journey and will need help healing physically and mentally with jobs and education and support. And part of that is just as simple as uh, thanking a veteran or welcoming them back home with a handshake or a smile. And while it may seem like a small gesture, it's really significant and it makes an impact on these young men and women. I also spoke with parents of soldiers who were killed in Iraq. They said they had very strong opinions about the end of the war, but did not want to make any sort of statement because they did not want today to be about politics. Back to you. All right, Nancy. Meanwhile, there is a new honor coming to a New Mexico soldier who was awarded the Medal of Honor for bravery in Afghanistan. The Santa Fe City Council has approved a larger than life bronze statue of Sergeant First Class Leroy Petrie. Petrie received the nation's highest military honor from President Obama this summer. The Santa Fe native saved the lives of fellow Rangers by grabbing a grenade thrown into their midst and hurling it away. It went off just as he released it, and he lost his right hand. The eight-foot statue will be created by Powaki Pueblo Governor George Rivera. No decision yet on where it will go.